What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Campbell Chronicles. I thought I'd bring to you another peek into my week series. This time I'm at downtown Milwaukee. This is so fun, but so cold. Holy smokes. I thought it'd be fun to come out and give you a little tour of downtown and show you some of the architecture and some of the things you might be able to do downtown. And just in case you were wondering how cold it is, it's exactly 10 degrees. It's cold. But the cold isn't gonna stop me from going to explore. Let's go have an adventure. One of the things that I absolutely love about these cities and these older cities is the architecture. It's absolutely stunning. Right now, I'm just outside of City Hall and just take a look. I mean, it's, it's old, but it's really unique and really cool. Like some of the other great cities in this country, this city happens to have a river that goes right in the middle of downtown. So if you're ever here, maybe in the warmer month, I would come check out the Riverwalk. Along the Riverwalk, there's tons of shopping and tons of places to eat. All of it, I have to say, looks good. But again, maybe a little bit warmer month would be more appropriate for the Riverwalk, if you're actually gonna walk it. Now, there is a sky bridge. The sky bridge can take you about six blocks or so. You can see a good amount of things to do through the sky bridge during the winter time. However, not nearly to the extent of the full river walk. I'm just here a week shy of when the massive snowstorm came through here and just completely covered this part of the country. You can definitely see all the snow removal equipment hard at work. There's all kinds of things you can do, little places to sit down and rest, and all kinds of cool, sick pics you can take. I'm outside of the Chase Tower. I love how they incorporate all that color into their building. Holy smokes, this has to be one of my favorite, favorite buildings I've seen so far. It's the Chamber of Commerce right outside my hotel. It's really beautiful. It has the, I mean, look at the clock tower. It's so incredible. One of the places I was told to go check out is the public market. Let's go see what we can see inside. So over here, um, they have all kinds of sculptures and things going on. I found one that's pretty cool. It's like a red Solo cup all broken up. Found something that's really cool over here by the red Solo cup. It's a map of all the sculptures that you can look at. Along the public market here, there's all kinds of food and coffee shops to be had. It just smells really good though, because it's cold outside and I need to warm up. Here's some more of those sculptures. I would definitely say unique. Pretty cool though bit of an artist myself so I enjoy looking at anything art related. Just take a look at this one. This one's really cool. Just made with a bunch of old wire and car parts and just really really unique. Also down here near the uh, public market is the historic Third Ward, which is pretty amazing. Back in the early 1800s, there was a massive fire that destroyed over 400 homes, put over 1,900 people homeless. It's just incredible, unfortunately, but uh, the amount of recovery, I mean, it's been a while, but still, the amount of recovery is just impeccable. It just goes to show you what happens when people put their minds and hearts together. So now inside the main part of the public market, I'm gonna go down here and see what we can see. But it looks like a, a lot of good food, a lot of good things to try. You might uh, have to try some things out. Just walking 
through here, you can see all the amazing foods to try. Seafood, pizza, cookies, chocolates, and you can't be in Wisconsin without having a plethora of authentic cheese. I mean, look at this cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Cheese everywhere. Squeaky cheese, cow cheese, cheese wheels, cheese dips, cheese, cheese, cheese. And here we have Brew City. Come get your shirts and all your magnets and stickers. Really nice folks here. Again, that's Brew City. You can check them out at brewcitybrand.com. Very friendly folks. Come get your stuff here. got some things I couldn't resist. One back over at Beer City was this, this sweet magnet. Take, take a look at that. This is really cool. Wisconsin cheese, you know, why not? It looks pretty sweet. I like to collect magnets. They're easy to throw in the suitcase and bring home. By the way, they're super nice over there. Go check them out. BrewCityBrand.com. You can check them out on Instagram as well. Brew City. Um, super nice folks. They gave me a free sticker. I'm gonna throw it on my luggage or my toolbox I'll use it that's for sure super nice people go check them out here at the public market I had to make a purchase at the C Adams bakery over here too good to resist I went ahead and got the flourless chocolate walnut brownie cookie and I also got the puppy chow cookie sandwich look at that amazing sandwich holy smokes uh, yeah so I'm on the keto diet but um, I am supposed to be on vacation next week, but I think I might start now. Yeah, let's do this. Let's give it a shot. First, I'm gonna try flourless walnut chocolate cookie. It looks amazing. So here it goes, the chocolate flourless walnut cookie. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's super soft, super chocolatey, but it's not like way too much. If you're not a nut fan, not a big deal. Walnuts have hardly a presence at all. The consistency is more of a brownie, and it's amazing. Definitely recommend this one. Yeah, just look at the insides of this cookie. Just uh, glorious. I took this cookie on recommendation from one of their bakers. I'm glad I did. I normally wouldn't go out of my way for things with nuts in them, but this is just fine. But like I said, the walnuts are, they're not like overly done. The soft, gooey center is perfect. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Let's try the other. Let's give this puppy chow cookie sandwich a shot here. Oh. Heaven help me. That is so, so good. The combination of flavors in this is amazing. You got the little bit of crunch from the shell of the cookies mixed with the crunch from the uh, little Muddy Buddy Chex mix in there. And then you got the whole cream. It's the perfect balance between crunch and gooiness. Uh, this is an instant win in my book. This one, hands down, between the two, is my favorite. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I ate about half of that, not even, yeah, about half of that cookie sandwich and that, that's a lot of, a lot of sugar, but that was very, very good. Hands down, I'd get that again in a heartbeat. Well, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me today, guys. Hey, if you ever get a chance to come to downtown Milwaukee, go ahead and give this river walk a chance. Go down to the uh, historic third row, check out that public market. There's a really good shop, really good food there. Those treats were amazing. And quite simply, the architecture as well. Go check it out. I'm Rob with the Campbell Chronicles. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and leave us a like. Let us know what you think in the comments below about Milwaukee. Thanks again, we'll see you real soon. And remember, adventure is out there.